So I recently saw this short from Bladed Angel, where he explained why a lot of cars in GTA are all-wheel drive, even though they should be rear-wheel drive. Initially, I agreed, since I remember the GTO, which I do use quite a lot, is all-wheel drive, even though they shouldn't be. Uh, yesterday, however, I randomly wondered, like, how many cars are actually falsely all-wheel drive? Like, is it like 50? I don't know. It's, in this short, it sounded like it's quite a lot, right? A lot of cars in Grand Theft Auto 5. So I did some research, and it turns out the following cars are using all-wheel drive even though their real-life counterpart doesn't. The Entity XF, which is based on the real-wheel drive Koenigsegg CCX. The Furia, which is based on the F8 Tributo. The Italy GTB and widebody version, which is based mostly on McLarens like the 570 and 650. The Italy GTO, which is based on the Ferrari 812 Superfast. The Vista Neo, which is based on the Spyker C8. The Pegasi Osiris, which is mostly based on the Pagani Hara. The Progan T20, which is based on the McLaren P1. And that's it. Only 8 cars use all drive falsely, with one of them being a white body version of the same car, so it's really more like 7. To put this in perspective, of the 61 supercars, only 5 or 6 use all drive falsely. And of the 109 sports cars, only 2 use all-wheel drive falsely. So cars using all-wheel drive falsely isn't that big of a problem, especially when you consider most of these cars have been in the game for years. And even when we look at the total number of cars using all-wheel drive, it really isn't that bad. For the Supers class, it's 28 out of 61. For the Sports class, it's 34 out of 109. Muscle class, only 4 out of 89. Sedans, 2 out of 38. Compact, 2 out of 19. Coupes, 0 out of 18. And Sports classics, 0 out of 47. To make matters even more interesting, the most recent DLC only featured three all-wheel drive cars, with two of them being off-roaders, and one being the electric Dodge, which is in real life also all-wheel drive. And a car that could have easily been made all-wheel drive, since its older brother the GTO has it as well, is just plain old regular rail-wheel drive like its real-life counterpart. Even though Rockstar has made a lot of bad decisions recently, I don't think we can really blame them on this specific issue, since the last time they added a falsely all-wheel drive car was all the way back in 2019 which is four years ago. And since then, they have added 116 cars, with only 32 of these being all-wheel drive. 